So today, everyone, we get an infinite money generator made and some awesome power cells. So if you want to see this episode, make sure you stick around. It's going to be a banger. Welcome back, everybody, to a new episode of MC Eternal. This, I believe, is like episode, I don't know, 11? <laughs> Something. It's some episode you guys can see on the front of it. But today, we're going to be making ourselves uh, a automatic money generator, which will be sick, guys. It's going to be really, really good. So let's get straight to it. So we're down in the depths of the dungeon, and we're going to build the uh, the money generator down here. And the reason for that, guys, is so um, it's sort of just out of the way, right? I mean, I don't need to see this thing. It's good to go just out of here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put it down here, and it should be good. So how we're going to start it is we're going to want to use a compact um, cobblestone generator from Nuclecraft. Eventually, I want to use a material stonework factory. Um, but we need pink slime for that. We don't have access to that yet. So we're going to be using this one. So basically, how I made this, it was uh, you saw me made this in the last episode, a, com a normal one. Uh, yeah, you, you saw me make one of these guys in the last episode, two cobblestone constantly, not super fast, so what I did is I put eight of these together, right, and uh, that makes us this guy, um, and obviously to make the next tier up, it's kind of ridiculous, so I'm not doing that, it's really ridiculous, but we have the compact cobblestone generator, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that guy down there, this guy will now produce cobblestone basically automatically, right, he, he's pretty good to go, so what we now need is we need a task screen, I've already set this up because I was testing this, so basically what you do is you go on here, you click the task, and you go on to cobblestone, like this, we're going to be using uh, cobblestone to create money in this, guys. Uh, and then you want to put input only true, and you want to put input icon onto cobblestone, just so you can see what it's sort of doing. Uh, and that's pretty good. And all you do now is you put on extract, extract not extract, you put on insert, and this guy just goes and generates you money, which is pretty good. So you'll see it come into my chest in, in a little bit, or come into my player on a little bit, which is uh, good. So once he goes, if we put you on always active, we have now. <laughs> this guy should generate us some coins. Now, he's not super quick, um, as you can see. It's not super fast, but um, it does mean we're going to get money every so often, which is kind of nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this guy to go as um, extract only on all of these all of these little uh, all of these things. So I'm going to go and set these guys to extract only. It's just double click, and I'm going to be back to you guys in a second. Okay, so welcome back. So once we set these all as extract only, all we want to do is we want to put an item duct onto uh, you, right? Uh, like that. And this guy will be extract, okay? Um, but what he'll be is we want him to only extract coins. We don't want anything else coming out of our inventory, right? So if we get this filter and we shift right click and we put a coin in there, this guy will now try and extract coins from our inventory, which is pretty good. And then if we put that into a, uh, a drawer and we go on to insert and we put you as always active, right? Boom. Um, it's going to extract a sword, which is completely not what I wanted you to do. <laughs> <laughs> Completely not what I wanted you to do. Are you going to extract um y the one? That, are you going to make me a liar out of this, or are you actually going to work? Where's my drill? You've extracted my drill. Okay, so you just seems to be extracting anything, right? Uh, yes, because we put this in the wrong side. There we go. We now put you in the right side, right? And um, if we take you out, we should see coins. All right, pretty good. So this thing now generates us. Uh, infinite coins, he puts them into a drawer, into a barrel, into a whatever it's called, a drawer, that's the one. <laughs> and now, we have coin production, now obviously he's not super fast, but the good thing is, is he will obviously run, like, forever, just AFK while we're not, like, paying attention. So that's good, that's coin sorted, um, and that'll make us some coins. Okay guys, so we're back, so I was uh, rude interrupted by a member of my family, which is always great. So, basically, what I want to do now is I want to get, um, as you can see, on this drawer down here, if we go down and have a look, right, this guy, um, like, he has coins, but he doesn't show how many he's sorted there. We've got 21 already, nice. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to make it so um, we can sort of uh, see how many drawers, in, like, coins are in there at a time. So what we need, we need a quantity key. And also make one of them, we need another drawer key, which means we now need another upgrade template. Uh, there we go, beautiful. So a drawer key made like that, nice. And then all we want to do is put in with a book and quill, which we should be able to make. There we go, nice. Uh, and that makes us a quantity key. And what this will now do is it will show us like how many items are in the drawer at a particular time, which is pretty good. And I could connect this up to the system. I might do that between um, episodes, but 25 coins. There we go. We can now see how many coins are in our system, which is pretty cool. So basically, this is obviously just going to mean we now um, we now can just come down here and, and like if we need a certain amount of coins, come and grab them. If we just want all of them, we can just, you know, get, get them all in one go um, and just go boom and shift right click. And they're all in our, in our coin wallet purse. <laughs> so there's there's 225 coins, right? So what I want to do today is I want to get something else done, and I want to give us uh, some, some better power production, right? And the ones I want to use, we're going to do some quests, guys. I think it should be pretty good. We haven't really got to quests yet this uh, series. So, if we go into here, and we go into not shop, this is, uh, actually, I can show you why I wanted to do this, right? There's some, there's some cool things in here. We've got all these, right? Creative modifiers. 
which is going to be sick. So that's what we want to get to. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I digress. If we go to uh, quests and we go to uh, not this one. I keep clicking on shop. That's not what I want to do. Introduction, not on you. It is on da -da 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 -da. exploration. You know it's on like machines and stuff. Introduction to science. Is that what it is? Um, I'm just looking for a solar panel, guys. An end row solar panel, because that's what I want to get. I want to get going with. I mean, they're not they're not great, but they are like passive and just they work on their own. So it's up here, right? So we want to get over to this guy. That means we've got to do all these quests in the way. Um, we've really done basically all of these, which is kind of a uh, like the, the the part that's a bit like, oh, we've already done them all, right? So we shouldn't have to just like go all that way. But we can obviously just make it ourselves and order do it as a quest. So if we go solar panel, um, these are the the best ones in the pack. We have got these as well, but obviously these need um. These need osmium to make this, which means we need to go to the beneath, which we haven't quite got to that stage yet. Um, so yeah, we can't do that. Um, but we do want these voltaic cells, these solar solar cells, right? Uh, so in order to make the top one, um, we're going to need a bunch of photovoltaic plates, uh, a daylight sensor, vibrant alloys, octatic. So it's all kind of stuff we've we've done before, and we've already got. So if we if we go into our system here, right, and we go onto you, and we shift right click, what have we got already? We've got a lot of it already, right? We've got a decent amount of it already. So we want a daylight sensor. That's one thing we do want. Uh, we want another octatic generator, which means we're going to want, uh, like, what, like, four of these? There we go. Uh, can we make the double layers right now? Can we make them? We can. That's amazing. Beautiful. I don't know if I can make the octatic straight away. I can. Okay. Amazing. Beautiful. <laughs> so much easier. Um, can we make a uh, bit of dark fuse? Dark. Oh, it's dark fused. Okay, dark fused quartz. Right. So, dark fused quartz is a little bit interesting. Basically, if we can get to the recipe here, uh, I have to click about a million times on here. Uh, uh, there we go. Um, it's dark. It's nether quartz. Four nether quartz with um, any dye, right? So all you need to do is we need to go into here and go nether quartz. Um, one, two, three, four. Uh, we only need one piece of it at the moment. We'll, we need more later, but I'm only going to do one currently. And we need uh, ink sack. It's fine. Uh, we get them two together. Go and chuck them into the uh, alloy smelter, like so. So we put you on alloys only. Good. Of course, he uh, he did that, which is uh, not something I wanted you to do. <laughs> <laughs> if we put them on, uh, if we sort of put them on, um, like, uh, thingy, what we, we need to do it the other way around. So we need to put the ink sack in first, right? So if we go um, quartz again, uh, and we go one, one, two, three, four, like that. There we go. And then we chuck this guy in first, and then that guy. That will then make us the dark quartz. Beautiful. Okay, amazing. Nice. So we go over to here, shift that in. We've got that now, right? So all we need is the photovoltaic plate. So these guys are photovoltaic composite. We need nine of this stuff, which means we need nine recipes of this, which is actually pretty easy to make. It's just nine lapis is all we're going to need to shut down, right? So uh, lapis, or was it three lapis? Uh, I know, I'm confusing myself. Uh, no, it was it was nine lapis. Definitely nine lapis. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I bugged messed that up a little bit. Beautiful. Nice. We take this stuff over here, right? We chuck that in the sag mill. Uh, and this will give us nine crush lapis, which is good. So this guy will just go straight back into the system, right, automatically, which would be good. Uh, and then once that's done, we go over to here, we go over to here, we go over to there, we go to this guy, do that, and do that, and there's nine of that, right? Beautiful. All we need to do now is chuck that into our alloy smelter onto our alloys mode again. He will then smelt up. He takes a little bit because it's apparently it's a, it's a taxing recipe, you know? <laughs> apparently it's a little bit of a difficult recipe. That's fine. Uh, I want to sort of clear up my inventory a little bit, right? Uh, there we go. Let's get rid of all of that. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so you should be done any second now. Beautiful. You are. And then we go over to you. Go to you. And there is our vibrant photovoltaic cell. So this guy produces 160i per tick. I think, as far as I'm aware, that is, um, like, end dryo power per tick. That's what I get from that. That's what I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Now, what I want to do is, obviously, you are here. You're, you're pretty cool, right? But you're... I don't need you here, right? I don't really need you generating me stuff right here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of you. Um, and I thought, actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to put our solar cell up there. Forget this. Forget what I'm saying. I want to make a basic energy cell um, or an energy battery thing from Ender.io. I don't know what they're called. Um, energy cell. Is that what they're called? Or is it basic battery? Isn't it basic battery? Basic capacitor cell? Something like that. <laughs> Something like that. There you go. Basic capacitor bank, right? That's the one I wanted. So I want to make one of you. And the reason why I want to do that is just so this guy can tell us how much power he's getting in uh, every, like, so often, which is good. I think it's 160 RF tick, right? But this guy will be cool. The only problem is, is this guy's getting charged from our system, which I don't really want you to do. Um, yeah, I don't really want that. That's not really a thing I want to happen currently. So if we put this guy down, that should stop it, right? Uh, obviously, we're going to want ourselves some hardened uh, conduits. 
uh, we should be using Ender.io stuff, really. Um, but um, if we just go Fluxduct, because do don't we have the better stuff now? E no, we don't. Well, we have this stuff. This is this will be fun. This will be fun, right? This can produce. This can do four thousand RF ticks. So that's not really a problem. Uh, I want to put you as uh, insert. So the right side of blue. Cool. Put you down here. Are you full now? Are you are you full? Is that is that is that what's what's going on here? Can I put you down? Thank you. Uh, you're not full. You're you're actually not full, which is good. <laughs> so I want to put you as the uh, the output, right? So we're gonna go output. And I want to put you, my friends, as the input, right? So now this guy can, can sort of withdraw power from the top, right? So we get our flux ducts. Uh, the Android one definitely nice in this. But if we go all the way up to the top here, and we sort of uh, do that, just we've got one there. And we can we can we place that? No. Okay, we need to do a couple more. There we go. Uh, and we go up to here, and we put our solar panel down. This guy should, I say should, possibly not. You gonna connect that? You do connect that. Okay, there we go. So this guy now produces power, right? So he should say, there you go, 138 RF a tick getting in. So that is 138 RF, whereas this guy's only producing 200, right? So 138 RF from one thing. That's pretty good. That's a vibrant solar panel, which is nice. So 138 RF, pretty good. I kind of want to make a few of these just to get a bit of a better power production. So maybe we'll make like three or so more. I don't know how many I can afford, really. That's the only thing. Uh, how much of this, um, this dust have I got? Uh, is it not called dust? What's it called? What's it called? This infinity. Infinity. That's what it's called. Uh, no, we have a lot of that. So maybe I'm going to make another one of these. So I'm going to do that off camera and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, there we go. So one more vibrant photovoltaic cell. That's, that's how you say it. <laughs> so if we now add this guy on and we put him... I kind of want to put him like around the base. I think it'll be quite cool. We can have like a massive like row of these around the base. Now, this guy obviously... Pulling in, he will be pulling in like 260 RF a tick, right? So that's pretty good. This is a pretty good way to go. Now we've got a decent amount of power coming in. Now we've, now we've probably got ourselves about f like 400-ish RF a tick, which isn't great, but it's not too bad. Um, I want to also check um, like how many coins this, this, this guy's got in him now. If we just also get rid of this grey glass, I don't want you. Uh, you got 63 coins, 65 coins, okay. Let's use all them, right? There we go. We're at 287 coins now. Good. Our coin generation system is going pretty nicely. So... What I wanted to do now, guys, is we, um, is, I kind of wanted to, I, I mean, I want to get to a wither system eventually, right? That's kind of a, a main thing I want to get to, like, quite a big thing. But I feel like quests are an next big thing. What I'm thinking of doing, guys, is, uh, I'm, I'm kind of thinking of making the episodes a little bit shorter. I don't know what you guys think of that, because, um, obviously, um, they're not super long. Um, but I'm not really sure, like, what else, I mean, I was going to do loads of quests today, but I don't think quests do very well on YouTube, that's the only thing. I don't think people enjoy watching them, uh, which is, you know, that's fine. Oh, look, oh, we got power armor as a quest. Ooh, we really need to get into there, and that'd be so good. Right, so, what I really need to do, we could claim all these quests. Let's claim all these quests quickly and see what we get. So we get 50, we get a hang glider, nice, we already got that. That's that's great, thank you. Uh, 75 coins, not too bad. Uh, anything else on here to claim? Apparently not. Uh, we've got some in here to claim. You, oh, nice. Cheesy, cheesy cash. Huh, that's interesting. Garbage pile. That's, those, are, those are useful for rats, though, so I will take them. They're kind of useful. Um, introduction, we've got Blaze Rods uh, Loot Crate. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, 50 coins, nice. Um, yeah, I went some. I did some uh, Wither Hunting and Blaze Hunting in the Nether. So I do have some of that now, which is pretty cool. we got Luggage. Ooh, Luggage. Luggage is actually pretty cool. Um, yeah, I, I mean, the Luggage is actually kind of cool. A Summoner Orb, but no idea what this thing does. Let's check some of these items out. So I don't need you, right? What do you do? Maybe you can, like, what's the use of you? What does this guy do? I'm going to have a look. Okay, so I had a look into what this thing does, and it's actually pretty sick. So what we're going to do is, as long as we're on... We are on normal mode, okay. So we're going to go out and find a mob, right? And what this thing can do is it can capture a mob, and then literally you can make the mob your follower, right? So I can literally have... like a, I, I would prefer a skeleton running around after me, uh, protecting me, which would be so, so, so cool. Um, you can like get the enhanced version of this. You have to find enhanced summoner, which we can't do yet, but that's pretty cool. So if we capture you, right... Uh, oh, I think we just kill him, and he has a chance to go into our into our thing, right? Did he go into our thing? No, not quite. Okay, so you have a rough chance of like getting a mob um, stuck in this orb, and then he can follow you around. So I'm only going to kill skeletons. I feel skeletons will be, skeleton warriors, sorry, because I think they'll be the coolest ones to get because they can obviously shoot and attack, which is awesome. So I'm going to go and have a look around for these guys, and I'll be back in a second. So despite killing tons and tons and tons of mobs, honestly, uh, I didn't fill this guy up, which is fine. So I guess he's quite difficult to fill up, which makes sense. I mean, you don't want to make, you have an army of mobs, like OP, that can be weird. Uh, but the luggage, 
he's pretty cool. Basically, he'll follow me around. He's a double chest that follows me around, right? So if we have a look inside him, he's pretty cool. He's got some storage. I don't know, like... Oh. Well, apparently he blew up. That was kind of interesting. Uh, I've no idea why that happened, but um, is this something that, that this does now? He blows up? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, he will follow me around, basically, in theory. And um, yeah, there you go. And he can um, he can hold items for me, right? He's just a walking chest. Nice. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the luggage is not too bad. Um, I mean, he'll help me with mining. I mean, I mean, I don't really need him. I've got loads of axe. But anyway, we'll have him. So he's cool. Uh, loot crate. Let's see what we got inside this. This would be pretty cool, right? So right click to open. Uh, or right click to open. Oh, we got a void anvil. Deletes enchantments of anything. Oh, that is really cool. That is kind of actually dead useful. I, I am, I'm quite happy with that. Um, garbage parts are pretty cool. They can spawn, obviously, mobs. Um, a cheesy cash. Uh, rat upgrade warrior. Kind of nice. Uh, and obviously, that's mine already. So, let's see what other quests we've got to claim. All right. So, inside here, we've apparently got one. Uh, there we go. Vampire fangs. We've got a lot of... Uh, oh, a diamond. Nice. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Um, did he give us this as well? Vampire guide. Thank you, vampirism guide. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> We need a scoop, 50 coins, nice, and some salt, interesting. Um, we've got more in this load. Oh, we've got all of these to claim. 50 and a dragon bone flute, nice, very interesting. 50 coins, nice, 150 coins, nice. 150 coins and a loot reward, three magmatic floors with blazing pyrothium. Hmm, not too bad, blazing pyrothium is always good. Um, Mystical Agriculture. Oh, we got loads to claim in here. Okay, so we've got Fusion Crystal. Uh, oh, we got 32. Mm, okay. <laughs> oh, yay. Um, 75 coins. A bunch of coins it looks like these guys are going to give us, which is fine by me. I don't mind a load of coins. Um, and then we're going to want uh, Fire Essence. That's 50. Nice. So this is obviously the one where we get lots of things for doing all the, all the stuff, right? Maybe we can go through and do some cool quests. I think that might be quite fun just to like get some quests out of the way. So maybe I'll do that. Um, and let's just claim all of these first, though, right? We've got another boss thing to claim. You... The big salamander, how how cruel of me. Uh, he didn't even fight back. Like, I don't even know why he didn't even fight back. We got this one, though. Time played. I don't know if this is minutes. That's kind of ridiculous. Uh, creative modifier, 2,500 coins, and a magical fancy dress box. Right. I'm not sure whether that's going to be cool at all, but we'll give it a try. Creative modifier is really, really cool, though. Dragon bone flute. I guess maybe that, like, makes him, uh, 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 like, a vampire come near you, possibly. But this guy, orange shades. I've always wanted some orange shades. I can't even put them on. Can I put them in my baubles? Hey, so he picks up stuff on the floor. That's kind of cool. You're kind of quite, you're kind of cool, aren't you, buddy? You're kind of cool. You go and pick up random stuff. That's that's awesome. I do like that, to be fair. Uh, so, shades. I can put them on. Okay, I, I kind of look completely ridiculous. I'm going to keep them on, but look, I look like I've got orange ears. Oh, yay. <laughs> Very interesting. Right, so the quest I kind of want to go to is, I think what we'll do is we'll go for, like, some, uh, some, of the, some like, cool quests, right? Uh, maybe, like, these guys, because these guys are kind of cool quests. So, we've got, like, the Master Infusion Crystal. We've got Insanium Ingots. Oh, my God. How do we make these guys? Uh, it's Insanium Essence. Oh, dear. Uh, I didn't even know that was a thing. Okay, Insanium Essence. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> that's actually ridiculous. Um, okay, so, in this thing, we've got to make all the furnaces, right? So, that's pretty cool. So, we might even be able to make... We might be able to make a decent amount of them, right? I'm not sure. Although, I, I kind of want to keep... No, I'm going to wait because I want to keep, obviously, all my Inferium for Supreme, right? How much Inferium do we have, though? 68,000. Oh, yeah, we have a lot. We have a we have a decent amount. <laughs> okay, so what other quests can we get to? We might as well just go and do a load of these, right? It makes sense. So, Undying Heart, um, you are got from a loot box, and that's basically it, right? Is that is that really it? Undying Heart? Okay, fine. So, we can't even do you, then. Swine Mask. Uh... I doubt we can make you right. I really doubt we can make a swine mask. That sounds horrible as well. Swine. That sounds so bad. Like, ugh. That doesn't even sound remotely nice. Plate hide. I don't have any of that stuff. No, I cannot make that thing. That's not something I can make right now. Um, what other things have we got? We've got... Um, we can make a, a beast Jerry. We can make a lectern and a beast Jerry, right? We can make one of you. I'm pretty sure we can, we can do you, right? This should be something we can get to. I'm not, like, 100% sure. But we should be able to make the lectern. And we should be able to make the beast, Jerry. Possibly. Yeah, we can. Hell yeah, we can, buddy. So, do, do, we, do we now complete that quest? Uh, it didn't even it didn't even say we've done it. Okay, right. So, I need I need the beast, Jerry. Beast. Not beat. It's not beat, Jerry. <laughs> oh, it's best, Jerry. Okay, best, Jerry. Best Jerry, Beast Jerry, Best Jerry. I thought it was Beast Jerry. Okay, I'm prepared. Is uh, and we need a lectern. So now we've got them out in our inventory. 
Quest completed. Beautiful. So what do we get for doing that quest? We got ourselves 75 coins, a loot reward, a rat flute, interesting, and a tan death worm shitting helmet. Chitin helmet. Okay. That's interesting. I don't need you, but you're pretty... How, what do you look like? What do you look like, huh? Oh my god, you look ridiculous. I can see my sunglasses. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Okay. Uh, commands all tame rats in the local... I think I've already got one of these, right? I think I've got a rat flute. Uh, rat. Rat. Rat flute. Yeah, I've already got one of you. So I don't really need this guy. Like, is there anything to do with you other than bin you? Uh, to be honest, we can make a flute. No, I'm going to put two in there just in case. Um, right, what else can we do? So, quest-wise... Hmm, and I'm what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to do a big stream with me doing all the quests, because I think that'll be quite fun, uh, just a big, like, quest stream, so, you know, let me know if that's something you want to do. Mob, foul, mob fan, we should, be, we should be able to do you, right? There we go, mob fan, quest complete, nice. We already made that ages ago, so, that's cool. Uh, boom, and, ooh, anvil grenades, that's interesting, I don't have a clue what those things do. What are you to do? You're doing XP drain. We've got a tank, I've definitely got a tank. Uh, I need an XP shower, that's quite easy to do, and an XP drain, that's also very easy to do, um, so these two things, that's the shower, right, uh, and that's the drain, beautiful, um, and then we just need to do, uh, the tank, right, the open blocks tank, okay, we haven't apparently got one of them yet, that's fine, uh, tank at open, there we go, we just need one of you, like, or a few more of you, there you go, and that should be the quest completed, beautiful, that it is, that it is, we also lost an item there, so I don't know what it was, oh well, <laughs> I just I just chucked an item away. What are you? I don't even know what you do. Anvil grenade? Like what? And I mean I know anvil rounds are a thing in like the army, right? Oh dark ineffable glass. <gasps> this means we can walk through it. This is gonna be so good. So we can change the whole of this glass here for dark ineffable glass. Oops, I did not mean to just ruin my ceiling. Okay. I've apparently ruined the ceiling of my of my whole mob farm. That's very interesting. Uh, apparently I, I I stone? Okay, that's fine. This is meant to be stone. Uh, no, this isn't. This is meant to be grass. <laughs> okay, grass. Uh, I'll have you back. Thank you. Go there. Good, good, good. Fill that all in. Okay, so I want to get rid of all this glass, right? This will obviously go into this little um, absorption hopper, which is fine. We can get it out of there later, right? Uh, so, I don't know if we have enough. Do we even have enough to, like, make it so we can, we can do this? Like, we only have eight more. One, two, yeah, we only, we only have enough to do that. That's fine. That's something, right? And then what we can do is we can take this out of here, all the glass that went in here. Um, or supposedly it did. Is it? Is it in here? Is it in here? <laughs> Where's it gone? Where's my glass? I want my glass back. Can I have my glass, please? Glass, please. No? Apparently not. But did my luggage pick it up? Maybe, wait, maybe I have my luggage near me. Maybe my luggage picked it up. Uh, did you pick up my glass? You didn't. Oh, well, okay. Apparently I've just lost all my glass. That's kind of cool. Uh, right. Well, I... Uh, yeah. No idea. Okay, that's interesting. Right. Anyway, um, do we? Is it? I mean, I, it can't be in here, right? Oh, it is in here. What the hell? Oh, of course it did, because it went into our random thing, and then obviously that got that got chucked into back into the system. Of course, it's in this silly me. Right. Okay. Um, so if we sort of put the glass back, what this means now is we can move. Uh, in theory, if it lets me, I can go through this glass, right? So that is pretty pretty cool. I can go through this. The only thing is, I think I'm going to need to uh, break this bit so we can get out, right? <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to die. Uh, I kind of want to claim, take a bit of you back. Like, one row, and then fill you back in with glass. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this row ineffable. So if I ever get stuck in there, I can get out, right? That's I think, is a pretty key thing, right? So let's do that. Uh, let's put you back in here, uh, this dark glass. And let's get the ineffable. Um, and then put you here, right? And that means now, if we ever get... If we ever get stuck in here again, we'll be fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix it off camera. Okay, it kind of looks dorkish, but mob farm fixed, right? So we can come in here. Uh, we can die. <laughs> okay, at least the soulbound. I know the soulbound works. So tombstone soulbound is the one you want. Tombstone soulbound works. Okay, that's interesting to know. Can I sort of uh do a little bit of a climbing through here? Oh, and we also at least we got left with this as well. So tombstone soulbound is definitely the one you want. Okay, that's really cool. So we need to uh. Basically, get Tombstone Soulbound on all our stuff. Oh, we can't even get this. Come on, can I? Can I? Can I get my stuff? Ugh! I, I'm so close to getting it. Please let me get my stuff. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna get it off camera. Hey! I got it. I got it. We're good. We're good. We can take off hover mode now. Uh, awesome. So we got all our stuff back. That's fine. So Tombstone Soulbound is the one I want. So I need to get loads more of that. Is there any way to make that enchant? Um, Tombstone Soulbound. This guy. 
Uh, there isn't. It's uh, it's a random drop. That sucks. Uh, so we're going to turn on our mob spawner again, right? Okay, so basically, guys, I hope you have enjoyed it. We've uh, finished the episode. I'm going to end it here. And, um, yeah, hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, guys, please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. It does mean a ton to me. It helps me out so much. Um, and other than that, I will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys want to know how to promote your videos better, there is a link to TubeBud in the description. It is free. I do pay for it, but you can get it for free. Um, and yeah, just click on the link. It helps me out. If you sign up, you know, use it for free. Let me know how much it helps you. And other than that, I will see you next time. Thank you again, guys, and have a good day, evening, or night. See you in a bit.